Hello, dear student. Uh, today we are continuing gastroenterology and uh, today topic is chronic hepatitis. And please don't forget uh, write your full name and number group under the lecture. Thanks. And let's start. What is it? Chronic hepatitis. Um, <clears throat> chronic hepatitis represents a series of liver disorders, ovarian causes, and severity in which hepatic inflammation and necrosis continue for at least six months. Milder form are non-progressive or only slowly progressive, while more severe forms may be associated with scarring and architectural reorganization, which when advanced lead ultimately to cirrhosis. And uh, what about classification? And old classification of chronic hepatitis. More than six months, similar future with acute hepatitis. Uh, pathologic classification. Chronic persistent hepatitis, uh, mononuclear infiltration, lobular hepatitis equal prolonged slowly resolving hepatitis, multifocal hepatonecrosis or periportal fibrosis. And chronic active hepatitis equal mild, severe necroinformation, monoinfiltration, and piecemeal and bridging necrosis. And what about the new classification? And this classification is based on CAS, grade, histologic assessment, and stage by the degree of fibrosis. And explain about CAS. Chronic viral hepatitis caused by hepatitis B, hepatitis B plus D, or hepatitis C. Autoimmune hepatitis, based on serologic distinctions, drug-associated chronic hepatitis, and a category of unknown cause of cryptogenic chronic hepatitis. <clears throat> Stage. The stage of chronic hepatitis, which reflects the level or progression of the disease, uh, is based on the degree of hepatic fibrosis. When fibrosis is so extensive that fibrous septa surround parenchymal nodules and alter the normal architecture of the liver lobule, the histologic lesion is defined as cirrhosis. Staging in based on the degree of fibrosis as categorized, categorized on a numeral scale 0, 06 or 0, 04. And you may see on this slide uh, table with histological future, severity, score for histological activity and severity and score for metavir uh, classification. And next about grade. Great egg histologic assessment or necroinflammatory activity is based on examination of the liver biopsy. An assessment of important histologic features includes the degree of periportal necrosis and the disruption of the limiting plate of periportal hepatocytes by inflammatory cell, the degree of Confluent necrosis that links or form bridges between vascular structures, between portal tract and portal tract, or even more important, bridges between portal tract and central vein, referred to as bridging necrosis. 
the degree of hepatocyte generation, degeneration, and focal necrosis <coughs> within the lobule, and the degree of portal inflammation. <coughs> And you may see uh, the histologic activity index and description, score, lobular activity, and portal periportal activity. Yeah, and uh, what about on the uh, on table description? Non, yeah, minimal, mild, moderate, and severe activity. And several score systems that take the histological future uh, into uh, account have been devised. And the most popular are the histologic activity index used commonly in the United States and the uh, MetaVir score used in Europe. Based on the present and degree of this Futures of histological activity, chronic hepatitis can be graded as mild, moderate, or severe. And uh, on this table, uh, you may see fibrosis stage and non portal fibrosis, some portal fibrosis, most uh, bridging fibrosis, few uh, bridging fibrosis, many incomplete cirrhosis and cirrhosis. Fibroscan is a useful test is on almost any patient in whom a clinician wishes to stage liver fibrosis. The main drawback of Fibroscan testing is that it cannot be performed in all patients. Technical limitation of the test preclude its use in patients who have ascites. Individuals who are morbidly obese and all patients who have large amount of chest wall fat. <clears throat> and next question, chronic hepatitis B. Chronic hepatitis B virus infection has a worldwide prevalence of uh, 257 uh, 291 million affected persons. Patients often remain asymptomatic for years but may unknowingly transmit the infection to others via perinatal percutaneous and sexual exposure of close person to person contact. An estimated uh, 15 40 percent of HPV infected patients may develop complications such as liver cirrhosis, liver failure, and hepatocellular carcinoma, which represent the common causes of HPV related disease. Chronic viral hepatitis included both chronic HPV and hepatitis C virus infection is responsible for approximately 1 million deaths worldwide and 20,000 in the US. What is the clinical presentation of chronic hepatitis B? Patients with chronic active hepatitis, especially during the replicative state, may complain on symptomatology such as following. Symptoms similar to those of acute hepatitis, fatigue, anorexia, nausea, mild upper quadrant pain or discomfort. In progressive liver diseases, <clears throat> present the following symptomatology may appear. Hepatic decompensation, Hepatic encephalopathy, somnolence, disturbances in sleep pattern, mental confusion, coma, ascites, uh, gastrointestinal bleeding, coagulopathy. 
The physical examina examination of patients with chronic hepatitis B virus infection can relieve stigmata of chronic liver disease, such as following hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, megaly, muscle vas vasting, palmar erythema, spider angioma, vasculitis. Chronic uh, uh, hepatitis B infection is a dynamic process. The natural history of chronic uh, hepatitis B infection can be schematically divided into five phases, <clears throat> which are not necessarily uh, sequential. And first, the immune tolerant phase is characterized by HB antigen positivity a high level of HPV replication, normal or low level of amino transferases, mild or no liver necroinformation, and no or slow progression of fibrosis. During this phase, the rate of spontaneous HB antigen loss is very low. This first phase is more frequent and more prolonged in subject infected perinatally or in the first year of life. Because of the high levels of viremia, these patients are highly contagious. Second phase is the immune reactive HB antigen positive phase. It's characterized by HB antigen positivity, a relatively low level of replication compared of immune tolerant phase. Increased of fluctuating level of amine transferases, moderate or severe liver necroinflammation, and more rapid progression of fibrosis compared to the previous phase. <clears throat> this phase may occur after several years of immune tolerance and is more frequently and or more rapidly reached in subjects infected during adulthood. Paralleling maturation of specific anti HPV immunity. <clears throat> it may last for several weeks to several years. The rate of spontaneous HPE antigen loss in, is enhanced. This phase ends with seroconversion to anti HPE. Next phase is the inactive. HBV career state may follow seroconversion from HB antigen to anti HB antibody. It is characterized by very low or undetectable serum HBV DNA level and normal serum amino transferases. A minimum follow up of one year with alanine, uh, alanine amino transferase. ALT level at least every three, four months and serum HBV DNA levels is required before clozapine. A patient is uh, as in an active HBV career. ALT level should remain persistently within the normal range according to traditional cut of available. And HBV DNA should be below uh, 2,000 units on milliliter. Some inactive, inactive carriers, however, may have HBV DNA level greater than 2,000 units uh, on milliliter. I accompanied the persistently normal AOT level. <clears throat> Patient with HBV DNA more uh, less than uh, 2,000 units on milliliter and elevated ALT value should be usual advised to undergo liver biopsy or the evaluation of the cause of liver injury. <clears throat> As a result of immunological control of the infection, the inactive HPV career state confers a favorable long-term outcome with a very low risk of cirrhosis or carcinoma is the majority of patients. Uh, fourth uh, phase, 
HBE antigen, uh, the uh, negative um, chronic hepatitis B may follow a seroconversion from HB antigen to anti-HB antibodies during the immune reactive phase or may develop after year or decades of the inactive career state. It represents a later immune reactive phase in the natural history of chronic HPV infection. It is characterized by periodic reactivation with a pattern on fluctuating level of HPV DNA and amino transferases in active hepatitis. These patients are HBE antigen negative and harbor a predominance of HBV virions and nucleotide substantials in the pre-core and of the basal core promoter region that are hence unable to express to express low level of HB antigen. HB antigen negative uh, chronic hepatitis B is associated with low rates of prolonged spontaneous disease remission. And last phase in the uh, HBS antigen negative phase after HBS antigen loss, lower level HPV replication may persist with detectable HPV DNA in the liver. Generally, HBV DNA is not detectable in the serum, while anti-HBC antibodies with or without anti-HBS are detectable. HBS antigen loss before the onset of cirrhosis is associated with improvement of the outcome with reduced risk of cirrhosis, decompensation, and carcinoma. And what is uh, mean serological markers and clinical significance? For example, uh, HPS antigen mean acute or chronic infection. Anti-HBS immunoglobulin M acute infection. HBE antigen high infectivity. Anti-HBE low infectivity anti-HBS immunity, anti-HBS immunoglobulin G, and HBS uh, antigen chronic infection, and anti-HBC uh, immunoglobulin G and anti-HBS uh, uh, result infection. And diagnostic test. Chronic active uh, HBV disease is characterized into uh, HBE antigen positive and uh, HBE antigen negative disease. Subtype, uh, subtype wild type or HB antigen positive disease. Patient have mild to moderate elevation of the amino transferases. Uh, less than uh, or equal five times the ULN, the ALT level are usually higher than the ALT levels. Extremely high level of ALT can be observed during exacerbation or reactivation of the disease, and they can be accompanied by amplified synthetic function of the liver. HBV DNA levels are high during this phase. HBS antigen and anti HBC of immunoglobulin G or immunoglobulin M type are identified in the serum. If the AST levels are higher than the ALT levels, the diagnosis of cirrhosis must be considered. And sometimes chronic HBV, HBE antigen negative disease. Note that although the HBE antigen result is negative in the face. 
HP E antigen negativity can be associated with greater HPV DNA replication and more rapid disease progression in patients who carry mutation uh, in either the precore of the way or the basic core promoter region of the HPV genome. And what about alanine aminotransferase? ALT is an enzyme found mostly in the cells of the liver and kidney. Much smaller amount of it are also found in the heart and muscles. Normally, ALT level in blood are low, but when the liver is damaged, ALT is released in the blood and the level increases. Next, aspartate aminotransferase, AST. This enzyme found in cells throughout the body, but mostly in the heart and liver, and to lesser, a lesser extent in the kidney and muscles. In healthy individual level of AST in blood alone, when liver or muscle cells are injured, they release AST into the blood. AST, however, is non-specific for the liver and may be increased in conditions affecting other parts of the body. Gamma glutamyl transferase is an enzyme that is found in many organs throughout the body with a higher concentration found in the lip. Uh, GGT is uh, usually the first liver enzyme to rise in the uh, blood when uh, any of the bile duct or that carry bile from the liver to the intestines become obstructed. Uh, gamma glutamyl transferase uh, level are sometimes increased with consumption of even small amount of alcohol and may be used in evaluating someone for acute of chronic alcohol abuse. <clears throat> the GGT test is not very specific for liver and is not useful. Uh, it uh, differentiating between various causes of liver damage. And alkaline phosphatase, ALP, is an enzyme found uh, in several tissues throughout the body. The ALP uh, in blood sample of healthy adults comes mainly from the liver, with most of the rest coming from bones. Related levels of ALP in the blood are most commonly caused by liver disease, bile duct obstruction, gallbladder disease, or bone disorders. In the liver, ALP found on the edges of cells that join to form bile ducts. Tiny tubes that drain bile from the liver to the bowels where it is needed to help digest fat in the diet. ALP in bone is produced by special cell called osteoblast that are involved in the formation of bone. Each of the various tissue types produce distinct form of ALP called isoenzymes. <clears throat> non all patients with chronic hepatitis B infection have persistently elevated amino transferases. Patients in the immune tolerant phase and inactive career uh, have persistently normal ALT level, while a proportion patient with HB antigen negative a chronic hepatitis B may have intermittently normal ALT level. Therefore, appropriate longitudinal long-term follow-up is crucial. Anemia due to a shortened red blood cell survival period is an infrequent finding. Uh, also, hemolysis may be noted. Thrombocytopenia is rare finding. Patient with severe hepatitis experience a prolongation of the International normalization ratio. The assessment of the severity of the liver disease should include biochemical marker, including aspartate aminotransferase and, uh, uh, <clears throat> and uh, ALT, gamma glutamyl transpeptidase, 
alkaline phosphatase, bilirubin, and serum albumin and globulins, blood uh, count and uh, protein mean time, and hepatic ultrasound. Usually, AOT levels are higher than those of AST. However, when the disease progresses to cirrhosis, the regime may be resurfaced. Uh, and liver biopsy in histologic future. Liver biopsy percutaneous or laparoscopic is a standard means of assessing the severity of disease in patients with future or chronic active liver disease. Although liver biopsy is not in indicated for patients with acute hepatitis B disease, the finding is acute phase are predominantly lobal, is generative and regenerative hepatocellular change, as well as accompanying inflammation. Necrosis may be predominantly a central lobal. The hallmark of chronic hepatitis B infection is lymphoid inflammation, mostly involving uh, the portal tract. However, occasional consuming bodies are seen in the lobo. Hepatocytes that are distended with viral particles may occur and usually grow on grass, appearance of the hematoxylin and alizin stain. Round grass cells are seen in approximately 50, 75% uh, of liver affected by chronic uh, hepatitis B infection. And you may see on this picture uh, A. Uh, the pathological diagnosis was mild chronic hepatitis B, mild portal and perivenova fibrosis was C. C. The specimen inhibited central lobular necrosis. D. The specimen showed infiltration of inflammatory cells consisting of lymphocytes and plasma cells with mild interface hepatitis in portal zone. And treatment for chronic hepatitis B, three criteria for treatment prescription are used. Serum HPV DNA level, serum AUT level, and histological grade and stage. Patient with moderate to severe active necroinflammation and or fibrosis is the liver biopsy with HPV DNA above 2,000 unit per milliliter and or AOT above the upper limit of normal. Age and comorbidities also affect the decision to treat and with which agents. If uh, cirrhosis is present, treatment should be given independent of AOT or HBV DNA level. Patients with decompensated cirrhosis can also be treated with oral antiviral agents, but liver transplantation may be required. Immunotolerant patients are usually young uh, with persistently normal AOT and high HB. V DNA levels without evidence of liver disease and without a family history of cirrhosis or hepatocellular cancer. Do not need therapy, must, uh, but must receive follow up. The aim of treatment in uh, the seroconversation of HBE antigen when present to anti HB. E and the reduction of HBV DNA to uh, 400 united uh, or liter or less measures by sensitive PSR uh, technique. In addition, normalization of serum ALT, histological improvement in inflammation and fibrosis, the loss of HBS antigen reflect a good response. If HBE antigen disappears, remission is usually suspended for many years. Patient usually remain HB as antigen positive, but there is small but incremental loss of HBS antigen or anum. <coughs> Antiviral agent for hepatitis B. 
pedulated alpha 2a interferon gives response rate of 25-45 percent oh mm, after uh 48 weeks of treatment patient with higher serum amino transferase value who are younger with viral loads less than 107 unit of milliliter respond best patient with concomitant uh, hiv respond poorly as <clears throat> Uh, and those with cirrhosis should not receive interferon. Side effects of treatment are many with the acute flu-like illness occurring six, four hours after the first injection. This usually disappears after subsequent uh, injection, but malaysia, headache, and myalgia uh, are common. Depression, re reversible hair loss, and bone marrow depression and infection may also occur. The platelets count should be monitored in order patient HB antigen usually disappears. And oral therapy. Antecavir is very effective and reduce HBV DNA quickly and there is little viral resistance. Serum HBV DNA become negative in 67% and 90% by 48 weeks. It should not be used in patients with salamivudine induced mutants, but can be used if a defovir mutation have occurred. Tenofovir is also very effective, effective but a similar potency to antacavir. And as yet, no resistant mutants have been described. It is used for HIV patient with HPV infection. It can also be used in patient with lamivudine mutation, but not on its own for undefovir mutations. Lamivudine, 100 mg a day given orally, is well tolerated. However, by four years, 80% the all viral resistant due to EMDD mutants, tyrosine E, quick methionine M, aspartate D, which itself caused hepatitis. Lamivudine monotherapy is no longer recommended. The duration of all treatment is probably lifelong and is still being assessed. <coughs> And possible outcomes of uh, hepatitis B infection. Uh, acute uh, hepatitis B infection registered in uh, uh, three uh, five percent of adult acquired infection and ninety five percent of infant acquired infection. And uh, acute hepatitis B may transfer in chronic uh, hepatitis uh, B after chronic hepatitis and after in cirrhosis <clears throat> in uh, 12 uh, 20 five percent in uh, five years and this uh, <coughs> uh, cirrhosis uh, may transfer uh, in hepatocellular carcinoma and liver and liver failure and both this uh, disease uh, may transfer in this or liver transplant. And next question, uh, this uh, lecture uh, is chronic hepatitis B. Sorry, chronic hepatitis C. Uh, hepatitis C is an infection caused by the hepatitis C virus that attacks the liver and leads to inflammation. The World Health Organization estimates uh, that about um, uh, 71 million people globally have chronic hepatitis C with approximately uh, 399,000 dying from, the, uh, from this infection, primarily due to cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. And uh, what about epidemiology? Seven henotypes 
identified many subtimes and uh, uh, quantity spaces. Yeah, for example, uh, JT1A, JT1B, uh, JT2, um, uh, 3, and JT4. Uh, And chronic hepatitis C established a chronic state in the more infected patient. Risk factor for progression, old age of infection, alcohol used, co-infection uh, with immuno, immunodeficiency virus or uh, chronic hepatitis B. Yeah, and after... Um, uh, 20, 25 uh, year uh, chronic hepatitis C may transfer to cirrhosis and after 25, 30 years uh, may transfer to uh, car carcinoma. <clears throat> and what about physio pathophysiology? Chronic, uh, Hepatitis C infection induced immune dysfunction such as impiety cell function and uh, inefficient antibody responses, metabolic disorders such as hepatic steatosis, iron accumulation, and insulin resistance are associated with type 2 diabetes. More importantly, HCV is one of the myotologies of chronic hepatitis and progressive liver fibrosis that lead to the development of a lateral complication. For example, cirrhosis and the hepatocellular carcinoma. HCV infection can induce chronic hepatic inflammation with varying activity, which causes progressive liver fibrogenesis and leads to development on cirrhosis. First, metabolic reprogram reprogramming, including disturbance of lipid metabolism and mitochondrial dysfunction. Several studies highlight a role of the HCV core protein is steatosis and HCC nodal development as well as in insulin resistant, which is accompanied with intrahepatic lipid accumulation. HCV core protein was also shown to contribute to mitochondrial demand uh, by implying mitography. Metaphagy, sorry. The resulting oxidative stress is regarded uh, as a key trigger of uh, carcinoma initiation and development. HCV proteins uh, were reported to have both pro-apoptotic and anti-apoptotic properties. Viral proteins impact on epithelial mesenchymal transition pathway, which promotes fibro fibrogenesis, tumor development, and metastasis. And physical examination. Most patients with hepatitis C virus infection do not have abnormal physical examination findings until they develop portal hypertension or decompensated liver disease. One exception in patients with extrahepatic uh, manifestation of HCV infection, such as a porphyria, cutania, tarda, or necrotizing vasculitis. Signs in patient with decompensated liver disease include the following. Hand symptom, uh, all signs, for example, pulmonary edema, deep uterine contracture, uh, head signs, icteric sclera, temporal muscle wasting, cyanosis, fetal hepatic hepaticus, uh, gyne uh, gynecomastia, or small testes, abdominal signs, para um, libical ternia, ascites, caput uh, medusa, hepatosplena megaly. Ankle edema, scant body higher, skin signs, spidey navy, patechia, 
Uh, and other common extrahepatic manifestation include the following cryoglobulinemia, membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis, idiopathic uh, thrombocytopenic purpura, uh, lichen plants. And the most recent recommendation of American Association for the Study of Liver Disease and uh, Infection Disease Society of America. And uh, this recommendation uh, for initial uh, HCV testing and follow-up. Initial HCV testing, uh, HCV antibody test if the result is positive, confirm current infection with a sensitive HCV RNA test. Negative HCV antibody test but clinical suspicion of liver disease. Test for HCV RNA or follow-up testing for HCV antibody if HCV exposure occurred within the past six months. Consider testing for HCV RNA in immunocompromised individual. Reinfection after previous spontaneous or treatment related viral clearance. Obtain initial HCV RNA test. Before initial of antiviral therapy, obtain quantitative HCV RNA testing to document baseline viral load. Selection of the most appropriate antiviral regimen. Use HCV genotype testing for guidelines. And positive HCV antibody test with negative HCV RNA by polymerase change reaction in four patients, they do not have evidence of current HCV infection. And all patients with HCV infection are recommended to have an evolution for advanced fibrosis with the use of liver biopsy, imaging, and all non-invasive marker to aid in decision-making regarding treatment stage strategies and to determine whether additional measures for the damage of cirrhosis should be initiated. And World Health Organization recommended nuclear acid testing for quantitative or quantitative HCV RNA detection as well as for test of cooler at 12 or 24 weeks following antiviral treatment completion. And you may see formula. Uh, <coughs> Uh, and use the trans uh, and use the amino transferase platelet ratio of the fibrosis for score for elevating hepatic fibrosis. Other baseline studies include the following complete blood cells count with differential, international normalized ratio, liver function test, including level of ALT and ISD, alkaline phosphatase, albumin, and total and direct bilirubin, calculated glomerular filtration rate, thyroid function studies, screening test for co infection with human immunodeficiency virus or hepatitis B virus, screening for alcohol abuse, drug abuse, and or depression. Hepatitis B virus testing with hepatitis B surface antigen as well as hepatitis B surface antibody and antibody against hepatitis B core antigen. Serum pregnancy uh, testing is women of childbearing age before initiating uh, a treatment regimen that includes uh, ribavirin, all that includes direct active antiviral agents without ribavirin. And the uh, complete blood cell demonstrate 
uh, thrombocytopenia in approximately 10% patient low tyroxine level are found in approximately 10% and patient as well. Uh, stress testing may be necessary in appropriate patient and ophthalmological examination may also be necessary. And the HCV antibody, anti-HCV test result is non-reactive. There is no detectable antibody to HCV and unless there are special circumstances such as recently exposed. Immunocompromised and other special medical circumstances as a person can be considered never infected and therefore susceptible. If anti-HCV is reactive, this indicated as a current HCV. HCV infection, past HCV infection has, re has a result, or false positive. The reactive test result should be followed up the ANT for HCV RNA. If HCV RNA is detected, this indicated current HCV infection. If HCV RNA is not detected, this indicated as a past HCV infection that has result of false positive anti-HCV test result. As with a non-reactive anti-HCV result, test uh, a person with a negative HCV RNA test who has a known or expected exposure to HCV. Within a prior six months or with other med issue uh, that may impact the uh, test result should be followed up. And hepatitis B, uh, sorry, C virus gen uh, genotyping is helpful for predicting the likelihood of response and duration of treatment. Uh, genotyping uh, can be performed by direct sequences analysis, research and hybridization to a genotype specific uh, oligonucleotide probes or restriction fragment lens polymorphism. In addition to HCV genotype, uh, a growing body of research indicates the patient genetics by a role in the response to treatment. Liver biopsy is not considered mandatory before the initiation of treatment for hepatitis C. But it may be helpful for accessing the activity and severity of hepatitis C virus related liver disease. However, some ex experts recommend biopsy only in the following situation. The diagnosis in a certain uh, as a co-infection or disease may be present, the patient being considered for treatment has normal liver enzyme level and no extrahepatic manifestation. The patient is immunocompromised. <clears throat> And uh, fibro scanning diagnosis of hepatitis C virus infection. The most important aspect in the evaluation of a patient with hepatitis C virus infection is determine whether or not she or he has cirrhosis. This is the most important part of staging because very specific guidelines define how one should proceed with patient with cirrhosis is respect to screening them every two or three years for esophageal viruses and portal hypertension and putting them into a program with cross-sectional -se imaging ultrasound, computer tomography, or magnetic resonant imaging every uh, six, 12 months for monitoring risk of liver cancer. There currently are two alternative methods to stage liver fibrosis and a few other modalities that are under development. One available alternative is serum testing. 
The perfect example of a serum test is the aspartate amino transferase plate weight ratio index score, which is the ASD over control divided by the plate weight count. Patient with a high ARP uh, I score usually have significant scarring of cirrhosis. The most widely used test for liver fibrosis in the United States and the fibrosure and HEPA score. Both tests are very good in terms of their sensitivity and specificity in diagnosis cirrhosis, but similar to biopsy, they are not as accurate for exact identification or intermediate stage of disease. An approach considerations, hepatic C has become a curable disease with the use of antiviral agents. Treatment for chronic HCV is by self Godwin from the Infection Disease Association of America and American Association for the Study of Liver Disease. These guidelines are ad updated often. Uh, and the, uh, these guidelines previously proposed that because of patient cannot receive treatment immediately upon the approval of new agents. Priority should be given to those with the most urgent need. The recommendation includes the following. Patient with advanced fibrosis, uh, those this is, uh, with compensated cirrhosis, liver transplant recipient, and uh, uh, those with severe extrahepatic complication are to be given the high priority to treatment. Based on available uh, resource, patient and high risk for liver related complication and severe extrahepatic uh, hepatitis C complication should be given high priority for treatment. And treatment decisions should balance the anticipated reduction in transmission versus the likelihood of reinfection in patients whose risk of HCV transmission is high and its home HCV treatment may result in a reduction in transmission. Antiviral therapy for chronic hepatitis C should be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. However, treatment is widely recommended for patients with elevated serial alanine aminotransferase level who meet the following criteria. Age older than uh, 18 years, positive HCV antibody and serum HCV RNA test result, compensated liver disease, acceptable hematological and biochemical indices, uh, willingness to be treated and to adhere to treatment requirements, no contraindication for treatment. And antiviral agents, current treatment in combination therapy with a uh, pegylated inter interferon, which is interferon with a polyethyl uh, glycol, and ribavirin uh, for uh, genotype 1 only, and uh, pegylated uh, interferon is combined. Uh, and plus uh, ribavirin is combined with uh, other of the NS3 protease inhibitor, teloprevir and bosoprevir. Other drugs, uh, NSYB protease inhibitor, cyclophilin inhibitor, new types of interferon and ribavirin analogies are all being developed, which will change future treatment algorithms. Treatment duration with uh, this combination alone is uh, 12 months for genotypes 4 and 6 and 6 months for genotypes 2 or 3 and as short as 6 months for some genotype 1 patient receiving triple therapy. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, co-infection, GEPA, uh, hepatitis C and uh, immunodeficiency uh, viruses uh, are risk for accelerated liver fibrosis and should usually be offered antiviral treatment. And this co-infected person uh, should be treated and retreated the same at uh, those without uh, uh, immunodeficiency infection once any interaction and antiretroviral agents have been identified and dementia. Daily daclotasvir plus sofosbuvir with or without ribavirin is a recommended regimen when antiretroviral regimen change cannot be made to accompany alternative uh, hepatitis C direct acting antiviral medications. However, the combination of lidipavir uh, so for Sbuvir for eight weeks is not recommended regardless of the patient baseline uh, chronic uh, hepatitis C RNA level. And uh, short information about chronic hepatitis D. Hepatitis D virus is a virus that requires hepatitis B virus for its replication. Hepatitis B virus affected globally nearly 5% of people who have a chronic infection with hepatitis B virus. Several uh, geographical hosts uh, host of higher prevalence of hepatitis B infection exist in Mongolia, the Republic of Moldova, and countries in Western and Middle Africa. Uh, population uh, that are more likely to have uh, hepatitis B and hepatitis B co-infection include people who inject drugs, uh, indigestion population, and recipient of hemodialysis. And uh, uh, hepatitis B and B co-infection is considered the most severe form of chronic viral hepatitis due to more rapid progression towards liver related disease and hepatocellular carcinoma. This is relatively infrequent chronic hepatitis, but spontaneous resolution is rare between 60% and 70% of patients with developed cirrhosis and more rapidly uh, than uh, with. Uh, hepatitis B infection alone. Currently, treatment success rates are generally low. Hepatitis B infection can be prevented by hepatitis B immunization. Uh, hepatitis B infection can be diagnosed by high level of immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin F anti-HDV and confirmed by detection HDV RNA cell. Current guidelines generally recommend regulated interferon alpha for at least uh, 40 or uh, 8 weeks, irrespective of on treatment response patterns. And uh, last uh, is autoimmune hepatitis. And uh, autoimmune hepatitis have three pearls. And first, approximately 20% of patients with uh, autoimmune hepatitis will be after antibody negative. Uh, second, always consider drug induced autoimmune hepatitis like liver injury in the DDX of autoimmune hepatitis. If discontinuation or drug doesn't improve condition, consider autoimmune hepatitis. And the last uh, present of at least one other autoimmune disease is fairly common among patients with autoimmune hepatitis. A diagnosis screen for cellulit and thyroid disease. Uh, thank you for your attention. If you have questions, uh, 
question, please uh, leave your question under the lecture and uh, our depart department try to answer. Uh, and uh, uh, see you again. Goodbye.